Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Dishonored, The Knife of Dunwall. Last episode, we just cleared out the legal district. It took a bit longer than necessary because I am terrible at stealth and basically alerted every guard in the surrounding area. But the point is, the mission has been completed with no casualties. So we're now apparently returning back to our hideout in The Surge. Delilah is a powerful witch who leads a coven that has moved into the ruins of Brigmore Manor. You've returned to your hidden base in the flooded district to plan your next move. Jessamine and Caldwin's hands were all that was holding this city together. With her dead, this city was a fast, disintegrating web of guardsmen, overseers, nobles, weepers. Maybe this was the world the outsider was trying to show me all along. For years, I'd held together a shadowy band of ex-mercenaries, street kids, and refugees through discipline and a bit of black magic. On the fringes of a city that ate up innocence and weakness. Maybe today was the end of that small world. I thought of Jessamine Caldwin's hands shuddering as she lost her grip on life. Whatever doom was coming, I deserved it. My people didn't. Uh, okay. Thank you for the upgrades. I appreciate that. Oh, right. I can buy at the start of every mission. So, first things first. We'll refill on those. Um. Nothing to display for favors. So, I may as well just spend the money I've got. Now, what do I actually want to use it on, though? Sleep dart capacity again? Maybe. Definitely boot stealth. I'll take both the boot stealths. Uh, improved armor, I'm not too worried about because I'm not really going to... I'm not expecting to be taking damage, so I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, wrist bow range could be useful. Reload, perhaps, but honestly, I feel like it's pretty fast the way it is already. Arc mine, is that the... the no, stun mine. Now, I never ended up actually using this in the end, even though I had mines on me. Um... So I'm not sure if I really need this. Why not? I'll, I'll take it. And I'll take that. And that leaves me with no money left. Alright, good enough. Let's just go with it. Yes. Alright, we're back home. Back in the lower level. We are very familiar with this place, considering we were just... Um, we've been attacked. Overseers are tearing the place apart. Looking for you. They're holding our remaining men, and their leader is in your chambers as we speak. If we take him out and free our men, we can still drive the Overseers back. I want to know how the bastards found us in the first place. Oh. Overseer Hume. But yeah, um... Oh, this must have been the, the assault in which uh, all those Overseers died. Because we found a bunch of dead Overseer bodies um, when we came through here as Corvo. So, yeah, we're relatively familiar with this map, particularly because, of course, we just very recently completed this level uh, the other way around. So this will be interesting. Um, yeah, I'll take all these. Anything else I can pick up? Don't really need that. Don't really need that. Meeting Dowd. Excerpt from a journal. It's quite a long one, too. Uh, another stinking mouth. That's what my mother said. A mouth that would need feeding for years on, and then would sass her every time it opened. First words I can remember, her saying that. When she drunk for so long that her eyes stopped working for good, drunken ocean it seemed to me, I left the patched up shack we called home. But before heading out, I reminded her of all the times she'd put her hands on me, or thrown something at my head. The night she'd rushed me like an ox and sent me down the back stair. All the time she told me that I was just another stinking mouth. Last thing I heard was her cursing me from her bed, cursing the blind dark. Running with my pals, we had to stay sharp to make enough coin to keep from starving. Same story across the aisles. Not the biggest kids, but sometimes the smartest and the meanest when we needed to be. The only way to stay off the back alley mattresses. Not desperate enough to go out on the drain flats with the mudlarks, so it was the knife for us trying to catch the eye of the Hatters or the boys from Bottle Street so they'd take us on. But when a dandy from Circono stepped down from his polished coach and cracked my dear Deirdre's pretty head and left her twitching and dying in the muck, I snapped off one of the wooden gazelles on the top of the coach and drove the splintered end into his eye as deep as it could go. Last I saw of Deirdre was she was still, eyes wide to the grey sky. But now I like to remember her with a smile, 
laughing from the void at the one-eyed dandy with a gazelle coming out of his uh, head. That's unfortunate. No one would take me after that. The city watched me to full sweep once a week for months, trying to catch me. Even the Grand Guard came in from Karnaka, down in Sarkonos. It seems the dandy's daddy was the Duke of Sarkonos. I was too much trouble for my friends from the old neighborhood. Anyone who saw me tried to drive me away, threw rocks to get me to leave, or tried to get me, uh, sorry, tried to get a bag over my head, hungry for the reward. Even the gangs cursed me on sight. Billy's bad luck, they say. Hexed. She'll make it bad for all of us. You may think you know what loneliness is, but I can tell you, you don't. By late in the month of harvest, I had a hate inside me that would have choked most. And then I met Dowd. It was early in the dark morning, the only time I could go out. Walking the streets of the legal district, I saw them up ahead. Three who looked like boys from the city watch, but dressed out of uniform. They were out for blood and coin, running some kind of murder racket, waiting on a drunk barrister to stagger out of a bar at just the right time. I didn't see him at first, but in the flicker of an eyelid, he was on them. Out of the cold night air. He used a single blade, nothing else, and it only touched each of them once at the left side of the throat. Their blood splattered and steamed on the cobbles. Quick movements and occasional grunt, dark hair and the glimpse of a long scar down his face. When it was over, he made for the rooftops. I'd never seen the like of it, so I followed. I could have stayed and looted the poor bastards he left bleeding. Could have eaten for a month, most likely. But this seemed bigger. So I tried to stay up with him. Tried to stay hidden without losing sight of him. All across Dunwall into the wrecked and ruined parts, he crossed into what I could tell was his territory, hidden sentries and odd masks. I thought I'd seen everything in the city, all the gangs, but this was something else. Clinging to roof tiles and watching from behind chimneys, I watched and then followed him into an old building. Inside was all gloom, rotted carpets and desks full of rat-eaten papers, paintings ruined by the wet. There were weapons and practice dummies. Men lived here in secret, training with knives and crossbows. I lost track of him and continued to explore, but I was a fool. He'd known I was following and came up from behind. When I saw him, I froze, waiting for him to speak. You followed me, found this place, and now you're not begging or running for your life. There's nowhere to run, I said, and I'm not very attached to it, to tell the truth. He came close and looked me right in the eyes, trying to find some light inside that would tell him my story. You think you're already dead inside, but I'll give you something to live for. You'll fight for me and kill people like the ones who've hurt you. I just nodded, feeling relief for the first time in months. How long ago is this story? How long has the flooded district been the flooded district? It sounds like the same hideout. But, I, I mean, I, I don't know how long it's been. Just several years? But Billy doesn't seem that young. She doesn't seem that old either. But, like, she doesn't seem, like, young young, right? Hmm. At any rate. Cool. But it's weird that her personal journal is just kind of stuffed into a little... A little alcove here, but all right. Uh, all right, let's get started. We've got bone charms, captured assassins, bone charms, runes. Okay. Interesting that we just have this stuff lying around, but sure. Now, did I actually see loot? There's actually no loot to be had here, which is quite interesting. Uh, okay. Let's. Oh, wait a minute. Don't I have that upgrade? That tells me if there's up, um, that if there's actually uh, loot for me. I can also break that, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Memoirs. Excerpt from a captain's deathbed memoirs. I tell you, the very sight of the animal is uplifting. Its size rivals the largest boats and its songs resound across the ocean. The great fins are as long as two men. A single fin is as black as the rocks at the bottom of the darkest waters, but the remainder of the animal is as white as Tivian snow. Even the tentacles hanging beneath its face are the palest white, twisting and dragging in the de cold depths. When the great whale breaks, everything else is lost from focus, distant and dis diminished, as if you were transported to a lost, lonely place that does not and cannot exist. My entire life I ran after this dream, burned into my mind when I was but ten years old. Since my first year at sea, the apparition has never left me. I have hunted its trace, following half-told rumors of the thinnest of clues. Part of a song, played by musicians in a Morley pub, at the edge of a town north of Kalkenny. Once from a sketch, found among the belongings of a dead sailor. On rare occasion, I was guided by more substantial evidence, an evening's meal and conversation with a captain who had sighted the great whale a season past. Is this going to be Moby Dick? What color is the... Okay, the fin was black, but the tentacles are white. Hmm... 
At 13, I was already well familiar with whaler foam, and by 16 years, I was second captain, sailing uncharted stretches of sea. When I got my own rickety boat at 20, I was already known as the bloodiest whale hunter in all the isles, the most consumed, the maddest with frustration. Hunting and killing hundreds of whales, I never saw it again. I drove my ship and my men like hounds in the worst winter. Over a lifetime, I carried my hope of seeing it, touching the cold dead flesh once it was hoisted over the deck. I needed to hear its song again to understand the effect it had over me, to immerse myself in its final moments of life. Now, racing against my age and infirmity, my growing madness is killing this vision, this childhood dream, so that I wonder if it was ever real to begin with. My life seems already written and I have failed. I realize now that it was crazy, this dream. Did it really exist in this world? In mine, yes. Okay. Sure, let's check out this room, this door. Okay, never mind, I cannot actually go through that. I am just a fool. Ah, okay, at least I didn't take damage. Okay, they're done their conversation. Captured assassin over- No, what do you mean, huh? Humans directly above me. Wouldn't it be really easy just to get to them? In theory. Oh, hi. Definitely now is not a good time. Okay, so those are my dudes. Oh, no. He suddenly turned around again. Interesting. Yeah, okay, these three guards walking together are a little bit of a concern. Okay, I don't like that they're all kind of gathered there together. Maybe they'll split up later. The good news is, I do have the strong arm perk now. That guy's alone in there. That guy is alone in there. I can possibly grab him. Oh. This won't work. This'll do, this'll do, this'll do, this is fine. Mine. Okay, just drop this man. Just uh, put him down right here. Conveniently, I do have the key already, so I can just loot to my heart's content. There was nothing I really needed, but that's fine. Okay, what have I got? Oh, hi. Okay, that was pretty close. Uh, Can I get the high ground? Don't look over here. Good. I was expecting him to turn the corner. There's no reason for them to check uh, that section of the, the hallway. So you can just lie down here. I'm fine with that. You're pretty far away. I can probably get to... Uh-oh. Regret. Okay. That'll work. Maybe I should pick him up and put him away somewhere. How about, like, right here? The Deep Watchers. I think I've read this before. Uh, I'm not sure if I've read this one before, but I will just scroll through this one really slowly, and then if you want to pause it at any point, feel free to read it. This is just talking about a researcher and um, their thoughts on the whales, which seems to be a kind of frequent or a pretty common... Uh, oh pretty common um, type of writing, I guess, in this universe. Everyone's obsessed with the whales. That much I understand. Okay. What have I got? So I did see the Sokolov uh, remedy right here. Thank you. And by thank you, I mean, look at all this stuff I can't actually pick up. Wonderful. So glad. Uh, okay, so the, that's the upper level. Now, these are my guys, right? These are the bodies of my dudes. Okay, there's a bunch of people out there. Oh, the bone charm's on one of their bodies? Okay. I mean, that makes sense, but it's unfortunate for me. Okay. Okay, I need this guy to come near me. Oh no, but they're all just chilling out there. I mean, I could probably get away with darting them, but... Yeah, there's at least four dudes out here. That seems difficult to deal with. Yeah, okay. Would this be bad? Oh, 
Okay, so far so good. That went pretty well, all things considered. That's one. Thank goodness for strong arms, right? Oh. I was actually considering going after that guy, but um, the other dude turned around at this, the perfect moment. Okay. I don't know how many guards are down here. If any at all. Shoot. Oh, there's at least one. Uh, uh, I'm not very happy about this. Fine. Okay, you can join them. And there's one more dude down there. Is that the only one? Oh, wait. There you go. Was that all four of them? I'm still hearing footsteps, so that wasn't all of them. Alright, who else have we got? There's one dude up there and one dude above me. This guy can actually catch. Uh, Should I catch him or the overseer? Nope. Oh, they're together. Oh, this is bad. No, he's gonna turn around, yeah. Okay. There's something going on over there, too. Maybe someone's playing a music box. Yeah, someone must be playing a music box. Okay. Don't turn around. Mine. It's a good thing that the Overseer music boxes don't make any noise when they drop. Oh, shoot. Okay. Now, after I clear up... The legendary assassins own nothing but copper wire and crossbow bolts. Interesting that you decide to just talk to yourself, huh? Okay, this dude might see me. Is he gonna come outside? Hello? Oh, convenient. Thank you, buddy. Now, I'm hearing a rune or a bone charm in here. And a painting, too. Okay. Well, we may as well clear this place out first. I don't think anyone's going to be down here. Yeah, this is its own little isolated room. Uh, seven strictures. We've definitely read that before. Thank you for the rune. Do I even have anything to upgrade at this point? Not really. I'll take agility. Yeah, I'll take agility, too. That's pretty much it. Okay. Now I'm faster. Overseer assault plans. Suspected Okay, well, this that's not really super helpful. Coordinated sweep of the flooded district. But the overseers here didn't stick to the plan. Someone must have tipped them off. Abbey of the Everyman, for stricture. All of these things I don't need. They've crossed me off the list already. Isn't that a little premature? Okay, so there's a dude just chilling down here. What is he doing down here? Okay, well, there's two of them. So I can probably dash for... No, that guy's going to turn around first, I think. Okay. Isn't this the uh, the spot where the dogs were hanging out? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, okay. And then there's one more. I might as well take him out since I'm here. Gonna just uh, move him over here real quick. Oh no, never mind. Not gonna put him here. Okay. Yeah, that seems like a bad place to be. But that guard is coming right over here. If he turns this corner, I'm just gonna dash behind that wall. Oh no. He turned around. He's quite far away though. Okay, tell you what. Let me just quickly dash up here. And then I'll deal with the rats. This way they won't actually attack the other uh, sleeping dude either. And they'll free him up. And I knew, I do realize I have to go backtrack as well. I have to go all the way back up to, um, to my hideout. With the building and everything. They're running away, but... Okay, they're good. They're going to leave him alone. Now, what was back here? There must have been loot or something, right? Apparently not. Just a swarm of rats. Okay. So, uh, I can probably sneak up close to behind that guy if I just come right over here. I'm decently hidden behind this. I believe. 
I could probably just nothing personnel him, actually. Yeah. He just decides to stop uh, patrolling forward partway through. And there's definitely a um, person playing a music box in front of my, my captured assassin over there. Uh, you may as well just rest right here. Good night, buddy. There's actually quite a bit for me to do. Um, okay, how many how many am I dealing with? One set, two sets, and then Overseer Hume. Okay. So... Oh! You don't know that. Okay. Nothing. Shut up. Gonna grab this guy while I'm here. Good night. This is just an empty hallway, as far as I'm concerned. That dude's coming down, though. But I can probably... Uh oh I can probably dash behind him. Yep. Good night. No observing of the dead body, or uh, unconscious body here. Wonderful. Uh, abandoned journal. I've managed to make a space for myself here. Thankfully, Redshore is all but completely abandoned. Up in this room, I'm protected from the occasional scavenger and the flooding during heavy rain. I'd like to return to my office in the Commerce Building to see if I can find some of my old books, but I've yet to build up the courage. Eventually, I'll run out of canned meats and then I'll have no choice. No need for courage when desperation kicks in. Makes sense. Sleep darts, very helpful. This is a waste. Ah. Never talk. This back area. This is where the, um, it hasn't... Are you paying attention? I am going to pull the pin in a moment. No one will even know you are here. It's not quite as flooded as it used to be, or in the future. How am I supposed Just to get... Hmm. If he's so great, I'm sure he'll kill us when we find him. So why not? Interesting that they decide not to react or kill my, uh, kill my dude whenever they saw... Oh, convenient that they gave you three three sleep darts just for this occasion. Yeah, interesting that they decide not to, um, kill their captive once they start getting attacked. But yeah, isn't this the same area where that uh, merchant was? Yeah, I guess the merchant's door would, would have been down here or something. But yeah, um, but this isn't nearly as flooded as it was in, um... You know, when we actually got down here. Interesting. Pump system report. Log entry. Standing water, not more than an ankle deep. Something must be blocking the drainage. Log entry. Drainage was cleared and the standing water isn't an issue anymore. Note. Pump system may be insufficient for high volume situations. Log entry. Waste high water, drainage problems again. The accountants are going to have to swim to work if something isn't done about the pump system. Log. Last day in Rudshore. My new post starts tomorrow. I've restated my concerns about the pumps. I suggest my replacement check the valve pressures and, and system mechanical integrity immediately. Yeah, this area is like completely flooded um, when you come through here as Corvo. Alright, I'm gonna free you now. Cut the rope. My hands are tied. Alright, gotcha. I'll watch for your sign. Sure. Catch you later, I guess. Bye, bud. Wonderful. I have to free three more of them. But that's fine. I've basically gone out of my way. Oh, rat swarms, huh? Um, uh, I'm not fond of the rat swarm being there. I can probably just stealth sleep these dudes. I can get his toe and then the this dude from the uh from there. No, you don't. Oh, thank goodness that the grenade didn't didn't take out uh oh. Thank goodness the grenade didn't take out, uh, my assassin. Okay, hello rats. I see you all. I'm gonna kill you before you become a swarm. Wonderful. Is this just a random assassin? Okay. And more sleep darts, thank you. I like that they're providing me with three at a time. It's very convenient. This dude is super dead, but that's his own fault. This dude's alive. Look, you have no one to blame but yourself for carrying that cooking, um, that live grenade. You're welcome. Okay, I've definitely freed... Yeah, I've already taken out all the guards in this area. This is the entry point of the, of the level, of course. Um... 
of this section, actually. Yep. This is very familiar to me. Very familiar indeed. The funny thing is, there's actually nothing um, for me to loot other than the, the few remaining bone charms and just a couple of the bodies or whatever. Uh, what are those? Grenades? Yeah, grenades and uh, potential health remedies and stuff, which I don't need. Don't care for them. This guy has some money on him. Well, actually, no, not even money. It's just ammo. Okay. So I don't need any of this stuff, really. Spirit water. Don't care for it. Another Sokolov elixir, I believe. And... Ooh, more sleep darts. Convenient. I guess we could have used those against, like, the four dudes who were patrolling around here, but I actually did that pretty well, so I'm not too worried about it. Now, there's one dude out here, apparently. Uh, that's actually on an upper level that I can't get through. So he's in my office. He's in Dowd's office. Which makes sense. Now, there's a bone charm and a captured assassin out there. Yeah, these are all just... Am this is all just ammo, yeah, okay. So, I definitely know about that. Er, er, ow. Okay, well, that sucked. Oh, boy. Alright, let's pretend that didn't happen, but, um, yeah, so. But yeah, I know how to get to that building because I can just jump across from this window that I saw earlier. Let me off. Thank you. Okay, so let's heal that up. And, uh, what have I got? There's this one dude. So there's one on the upper level, and then there's this one dude. Who's turning around, but he might catch me. I guess I could just dash straight across. I may as well do that first. One thing at a time. Nothing, shut up. You didn't see shit. Okay, that was unfortunate. It was, in fact, just the wind. Holy cow, how many of you are there? Oh. What are you seeing? Why are you being alerted? Check under nothing everything. After all. It was, in fact, nothing after all. You're right. Everything seems Where are you? Nowhere. Okay, everyone put away your weapons. Just turning around again. Nope. No one's revealing themselves. Shut up. We're back to the generic dialogue. What happened to the one dude who actually got his own squad? Okay, so if I poke my head up there, someone's gonna see me. Some rats, that's fine. I didn't realize there were so many of these dudes. Okay, so this guy, he's not gonna see me, especially if I dash behind him like this. But I've gotta wait for the opportune moment. Oh, this is not terrible. That'll do. I feel like that was cutting it pretty close, actually. Okay, you can lie on top of my, my guy's dead body. Oh, and there's a bone charm. I might as well pick that up while I'm here. Ah, yes. Thank you. Carrion killer. Oh. Okay, I alerted them by doing that. Maybe I should not have done that. Well, technically you're not wrong, actually. They were, in fact, rats. Okay. So they're now coming down the stairs. They definitely want to check things out. Which gives me an opportunity to actually get this dude. Oh, crap. Okay, that's not how I... Shit. No, no one saw anything. What, are we in combat? We shouldn't be. He didn't make any noise on the way down. Okay. They're on different floors, so this isn't awful. I just need them to turn around and then I can grab them. Turn around, bud. He's not turning around, and that guy's coming back up the stairs. No? Okay. This is mildly awkward. Okay, time to get... He just looked straight at me and went, it's just the wind. Okay. Ow. I think that was worth it, though. Yeah, they're still on alert. Because now the other guy saw the body. Okay. Everything seems in order. Shit. Nope. Shout if you see him. 
No one sees me. No, you don't. Got your toe! Oh, crap. There you go. Not awful, but not, not great either. Whoops. Wonderful. Okay, so that's everyone here taken out. I hope that they replenish my sleep darts. Because that was a little embarrassing. Don't judge me, okay, assassin dude? Don't judge your, uh, your, your grandmaster. Gimme. Okay, that was not worth it, but that's fine. And I can probably poke him from here, but that would alert Overseer Hume. So I should wait on that for now. Hello? I see you. I'll await your signal. Sure. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Oh no, there's still one more. Okay. I mean, I could probably just take out the dude right now, though. Sir, if I could just say... The men aren't uh. happy. The prisoners are secured, but the interrogations have been... unsettling. The ones that talk are worse than the ones who won't. And there's still no sign of Dowd. We wait. Dowd will show. Remind the men that they're overseers of the Abbey. That Dowd is an aging mercenary who has deluded his followers for years. Yes, sir. Uh, I just hate the stink of this place. But you are right. Of okay, course. there's a lot more guards the men than I thought. Dowd to show and call Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. High overseer. Yes, okay, sir. now there's another dude coming in. Uh, mildly concerning. Yeah, there's a huge number of them, actually. One, two, three, four, possibly five. Okay, there's a ton of guards. This is probably not the safest entry point. Although, I could just dart the men and dip. Wait, what's my goal right now? Is there a non-lethal way to deal with him? Is there a non-lethal way? Hmm. Eliminate him. And free one more. Okay, I mean, this is pretty much all I need to do, right? I'm sure there would be unique dialogue if I ran up to this dude, but... Good night. Bye. No, you don't. <laughs> I do need to pick up the letter, but... That was simple enough. Granted, I probably should have gone through the uh, the normal route as well, which I decided not to do. But now I will do. No, you don't. Shut up. Hello. Sokolov te Technology in the New Age. Definitely read that before. Was that the smartest play? Probably not. But was it fun? Yes. Yes, it was. Oh, there's a music dude over here. That's fine, I can just dart him. Not an issue. Uh This one's done. There isn't any fight left in him. Got your toe! To me. You're going to... D Easy enough. Is there anyone else who's about to join us? I'm not gonna free this guy until I pick up the letter. Now I'm hearing, aha. Heretical artifact. Please log this superstitious artifact. It was found on one of Dowd's men in a training area within the commerce building. There should be a crate in the temporary headquarters for items of this nature. Deposit it there after you create a log entry for it. Overseer Marcus. Spirited, okay. Potions give you moderately more mana. Eh, kind of meh on that, don't care for it. Uh, so my objective is probably going to be like, hey, you should pick up that note, right? Yeah, search his body for information. Okay, that means I can free you. I can free you with no issue. All right, hello. I'll wait for your word. Sounds like a plan. But I've got like four to six uh, overseers walking around looking for me, so... Probably not in the best situation. Hello? One dude in here by himself. Good night. You can wait right here. Restrict the wandering 
eyes that look hither and yonder for some flashing thing that easily catches a man's fancy in one moment, but brings calamity in the next. Okay, I can definitely get him. Before that guy sees me. Crap. Oh, nice dodge. You're gonna blow up your own buddy. Was it worth it? They're not going to be able to climb out after me, so I think I'm in good shape. I could probably even get away with throwing down a uh, one of those stun darts, right? Do I even have those, actually? Uh, gadgets. Ammo. Stun mine. Yeah, how can I use it? It doesn't seem to be showing up on my... In my inventory. How do I assign an item? <laughs> I'm literally like, how do I assign items? Like... After I've completed the entire game already? I have no idea. I have no idea how to do it. Uh, well that's unfortunate. I would like to use the sun mines. Yeah, that's an explosive. Don't want to use that. Don't want to use a grenade either. I have no idea. I just have them in my inventory and I can't actually use them. Oh well. You still waiting for me over here? Or did you all separate? You all separated. That's on you. Okay, dude's dude's still looking for me, but he's not going to look up. Good question. These guys almost never look up. The overseer with the music box is probably the biggest threat, but they've decided to separate. Yeah, they decided to separate, so this is probably fine. You can wait right here on one of these air conditioners. I don't know if it's actually an air conditioner, but that's what it looks like to me, and that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so... That went pretty well. I sure wish I could use some of those mines. Okay. You're right. We do. There's one. Okay, that guy is going to... I wish I could dash through because I can poke my head through, but no such luck. Okay. Okay, he's separated. He's walked off. Good night. Uh, I'll just throw you right here. Turns out there's another entrance on this side. Okay, good to know. You're not wrong. Uh, oh, there's the overseer, dude. Okay. Nothing personnel! Okay. Down he goes, and now I just need one more dude, I think. Oh, hi. I mean... Is there a purpose in not darting him? He's right there. Well, I guess if he's going to walk away uh, and present his back to me, I might as well take advantage of that. Nothing personnel. Okay. And then there's that one dude. Is it? Uh, how far out can I dash? That's rude. Good night. I think that's all of them now. Wonderful. I'm back in my office. I'm not going to loot that, though. Uh, Dowd's Journal. Billy Lurk. Excerpt from Dowd's personal journal. Billy Lurk watches me closely, studying my decisions, each move I take. Each move I make, rather. That's nothing new. Even as a kid, there was a quiet curiosity there. Although curiosity is not quite the right word. But lately, it seems more intense. I'll feel the hairs on my back... Uh, hairs of my neck standing up, only realizing a moment later that Lurk is on a roof or balcony nearby. Some morning, some of my papers seem to be moved, maybe poured over. When we're alone and Billy's comfortable with the mask off, questions come from odd angles, unrelated to our mission or to a specific target. Questions about what I'm thinking, about my attitude towards the target. It's odd. Something to watch. Another puzzle. Every one of my whalers is good, although my gifts seem stronger in some than in others. The outsider's mark is a mystery in this way, not something I can control. Those who remain with me either gain in the use of my extraordinary abilities or they don't. Those who don't, I just push towards the blade, the crossbow, or the study of poisons. Everyone among them serves in some way and together we spilled a sea of blood. Lurk is a quicker study than most, but stays aloof from the others. It's no matter to me as long as orders get carried out. Okay. Dowd's journal, Delilah Copperspoon. 
wait, did you, when did you write this? Did you write this, like, from, in between the first and second missions? Because you didn't know about Delilah until... No, yeah, until, actually, you didn't even know about Delilah Copperspoon until the end of the second chapter. So when did you write this? That's a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway. Delilah Copperspoon, who is she and why is everyone afraid of her? Strange that a painter should have so much influence, or that she ha should have any connection to my life and what I've done. My fate is my own, always has been. The problem is I don't know enough. There are missing pieces. I can't imagine how or why Delilah is linked to the death of the Empress, but the outsider wouldn't bother saying it unless it contained some grain of truth. Now it's driving me mad, like a puzzle I can't get out of my head. A riddle in pigment and blood. No doubt that black-eyed bastard takes delight in watching me twist into knots. He knows I can't abide a mystery. Billy has little insight to offer. None of the usual vitriol when I bring up the name Delilah. Just a shrug. Just tell me how you want this handled. It's odd behavior for Lurk. If I find this Delilah and cut her throat, maybe I can dodge what's coming. The consequences uh, the outsider spoke of. Or maybe ending her life will bring the entire city down on my head. When I face her, will I see the eyes of the Empress? Can I go through with it, even if it's the only way to save my own skin? Somehow I suspect that there's more to Delilah than portraits and sculptures. I'll find out more when I talk to the Timsh family. Oh, okay, so this is, yeah, definitely written by the end of the first chapter. Okay. Uh... Anything else? No, I definitely hear... Ooh. I'm hearing some loot. Is that the, um... The contraband area that they set up? I guess it would make sense. Overseer Pike. I've taken the Commerce Building. A temporary headquarters has been set up in a nearby structure. My men are dealing with a number of captives that should prove to be very informative. We have achieved a total victory here, catching the enemy by surprise. The plans for a larger, coordinated assault were obviously unnecessary. I am confident that Dowd will show himself and be in our custody shortly. Overseer Leonard Hoom. Victory letter. Seems a bit premature, yes. So now what? I have to go back out to like the first area, presumably? Yeah. Order the counterattack. Okay, well before I do that, let's go up to my little bedroom area. Open sesame. Thank you. Uh, all these books are the same as from when you first came in as Corvo, so that's nothing new. Uh, read that before as well. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, my assassin is right there, so I may as well just walk out to them, right? Is there not a window that opens out to that side? Evidently not. Okay, fine. I guess that would make it too easy when you're, uh, playing through the level for the first time. Okay. So, we'll just run through here again, and then, uh, dip the hell over. Would this not take me to the same place? It probably would. For a moment, I thought that these were people, and I was momentarily concerned. But we're okay. Alright, all of these people are down and out. We are ready to go. My assassin. Give the word, sir. What's our next move? Uh, capture the remaining overseers. Capture as many as you can. Their plans are ruined. I like their little salute. It's kind of cool. I'm going to pick those up. Now what? Are they done then? I guess they're done. All right. Easy enough. Give me a report. We'll take the overseer who led the attack and find out what else he knows. As soon as he's conscious. It seems the Overseers are marching into the flooded district, planning a massive assault against us. This Overseer Hume went against orders and attacked early. Our men, the ones you freed, were able to rout the remaining Zealots. This place belongs to us again. How did the cursed Overseers find us? It's my fault. I told Delilah where we were hidden. She wanted me to turn on you. You did this. Hey, what happened to the rest of the dialogue? Stupid child. All you had to do was cut his throat. That's an interesting outfit. Better. I was an idiot to listen to you. So that's your choice then. Dowd. Her betrayal would have been the sweetest. But either way, the Brigmore witches will be your end. You should have forgotten my name the day you heard it. 
I think it was always understood between us that I'd see my moment and take your place. I moved too early. You weren't weak, like I thought. Interesting. I'm sorry I didn't pick a better ally. Delilah made contact with the Overseers. I thought, between the three of us, we'd have you dead to rights. We can blame the Zealots for that. Overseer Hume was too quick to move. My life is yours now. Kill me, or let me live. If it even matters to you. Touching and pathetic. If I see either of you again, I'll tear out your stone-cold hearts and walk in your skin. Okay, that doesn't sound good. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, I wasn't expecting to see her face, uh, her head model in this game. Uh, that's interesting. I guess they had it all kind of figured out early on. Huh. Which is always cool to see, of course. And uh, that Delilah looks like she has one hell of an interesting outfit. I kind of wish she would get a little closer so we could actually see the details of her model, but interesting nonetheless. Now, obviously, I'm going to spare her. I can't just be like, hey, I just spared like all the bad or bad guys, all our targets, but I'm going to kill my second in command. Yes, she was going to betray me, but she also came clean and so far so good. So, yeah, I forgive you. Get out of here. Leave the city. Leave my sight, Billy. I give you your life. Oh, and she's gone. No, oh, that was instant. Uh. Okay. Slightly awkward slow mo fade to black. When Billy Lurk was eight, she oh. wanted to be the captain of a ship. The outsider. The she met you. All she wanted was to be a killer. She watched you, learned from you, and then she saw you losing your grip and decided to take your place. And now, she's limping to the outskirts of the city. She'll pay a smuggler to get past quarantine. She'll watch herself for signs of plague for a while. Gradually, the fear and grief that seep into your bones in Dunwall will dissipate, and she'll find a new name and a new use for her skills. Even if Dunwall burns to the ground, one corner of the Empire ha. still know you. There story. he is. Dowd. Old Corvo. Of an Empress. Dowd. Who spared his betrayer's life. Alright, I guess that was uh the end of the level there. So apparently a special action was rescuing all your assassins. I thought that was the main objective. I thought you had to do that. Um, I eliminated all the overseers mar armed with music boxes. Apparently that's a special action, which I didn't know about. Uh, I spared Billy. I killed one hostile. That's not my fault. He was holding a grenade that blew up in his hand. That is not on me. Overall chaos is low. I found everything. Wonderful. And I guess that's the end of the DLC. Okay. So, interesting. So that leads directly into the Brigmore Witches. Um... And I guess that will be a continuation of his story there, which will be fascinating. This kind of sounded like a an epilogue for Dowd, right? Considering that it shows, you know, Corva walking up to him and everything. But then I have to consider, okay, then what's what's with the Brigmore Witches DLC then? Because obviously he has to go and deal with the Brigmore Witches then, right? Because I'm pretty sure he's the Dowd is still the main character in that DLC. So uh, I guess his story is not over yet. I hope that you're looking forward to the Brigmore Witches DLC when I get to it uh, fairly soon. So I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Dishonored, the Knife of Dunwall. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye bye now.